Good afternoon and welcome to Lafayette High School where this afternoon WSN brings you a Western Buckeye League matchup. The Van Wert Cougars, six and four, one and two in conference play and the host team, the Lafayette Redskins, they of a nine and three and three and one record. My name is Mark Schein, my pleasure to do play by play alongside Coach Chad Spencer. And Coach, this is a big game today, especially if you want to stay in the league race for these two schools. Absolutely it is. You know, I think with Wapak's big win against Defiance early in the year, the, the door was wide open to chasing the WBO crown and a little hiccup last week week against St. Mary's. Uh, you know, I think it's an important game for both teams, but maybe even more so for Wapakoneta to avoid that uh, chance of having a second league loss. Well, let's look at this pitching matchup today. Grant Jolly will start today for Wapakoneta. Grant's 3-0. Uh, he's pitched 20 innings this year, 13 hits. His ERA is .0 or 0 0.7, obviously having a great year. And then T.J. Stoller will pitch for uh, Van Wert today. He is 3-1. and one. His ERA is 1.125, so we got a couple guys on the hill know what they're doing yeah, today. Yeah, two guys that uh, obviously throw a lot of strikes and uh, give their chance a team to make efficient outs. Perhaps we should uh, mention this today, and that is a Wapak's a typical catcher, Lewis, is out with a concussion, and getting his first start today behind the plate will be Preston Hinkle. Pretty big spot for young Manny's first start. Hey, welcome welcome to the varsity, <laughs> Preston. I was looking at the roster that I had two weeks ago for the Wapak when we had Defiance, and Preston wasn't on the roster, and I'm like, who is this guy? So. Uh, free agent signing, evidently from the <laughs> JV squad. There you go. Let's go through the batting order. Van Wert will lead off today with Brylon Parker hitting 375. Caden Schaefer at second at 281. TJ Stoller in the third spot at 417. The cleanup hitter is Luke Wessel at 409. Second baseman hitting 167. Defensively, Travis Francis will be behind the plate today uh, for the uh, the uh, Van Wert Cougars as he is the player who will be DH for today by Luke Wessel. Defensively, we mentioned Preston Hickle. Hinkle a moment ago behind the plate. Grant Jolly is the pitcher. Caden Moore at third. Taylor Eccles at short. Ryan Camp Camper is at second. Austin West at first. And left fielder is Ryan Price. Zach Niekamp is in center. Landon Brandt will play in right field today. And Landon's had some injury situations. Hasn't been able to throw the ball very well. Hasn't pitched yet this season. Right. I had some uh, injuries with uh, an elbow. And then Jeff Overs will be behind the plate. And Drew Braun will be uh, on the bases today. I think we've got everything set. It is 54, 5 degrees right now with a pretty steady wind of about 12 mile an hour. That ball is smack foul. Pretty steady wind blowing in directly from left field at about 12 miles an hour, gusting up to 18. You're going to have trouble getting one out of here to left yeah, field today. Yeah, you know, Mark, this field plays kind of big anyhow. And uh, pretty consistent wind coming in from center, left center, which isn't uh, unusual for this park. Pitch is low. That will level the count at one. Grand Jolly, 3-0 on the season. This will be his fourth start. 20 innings pitched. He's given up. 13 hits. You mentioned how his control has been so good. Just five mm -hmm. walks and 30 strikeouts on the season. The ball's grounded foul. Make it a one and two count. Parker getting some good swings in here. Two good cuts. 375. He's also got seven stolen bases this year when Coach Witten turns him loose. Ball stays inside. We'll level it to two and two. Well, it's nice to have a day above freezing, well, but we've still lot, got some good wind, don't we? A lot better than yesterday. Yes, sir. <laughs> and got him swinging. Opening strikeout. One in the books. 31st of the season for Grant Jolly. That was a second-team all-conference player a year ago in the Western Buckeye League. We were supposed to do Fort Laramie and Rushi last night. Oh, my. Oh, huge contest down oh, in the Shelby my. County yeah. Athletic League. And of course, the weather took care of that. That pitch is high. Not too many people playing in Northwest Ohio yesterday, that's yeah. for sure. That game has been rescheduled for next Tuesday, and WSM will be down in Fort Laramie to cover that matchup. It will air on Wednesday of next week. That pitch is inside. It's 2-0. Oh. We wanted to very quickly get that game when it got rescheduled on our broadcast yes, uh, schedule for next week. It's in that Shelby County League. Everybody plays each other twice. That will be the first matchup between those two teams that are traditional powerhouses in the Shelby County Athletic League. You know, you mentioned Grant Jolly. Um, 
getting getting the uh, award last year for second team, and that you might note that was as a freshman. As a freshman, so that's, pretty yes. impressive young man out here on the baseball diamond. And that's a four pitch walk. So a young man who's had a good control throughout the season will walk his sixth batter of the year, and that will be bring up T.J. Stoller, the pitcher, four seventeen with thirteen RBIs on the season for Stoller, senior. Dive back into first. Unlike the big leagues, we have unlimited uh, pickoff attempts at first base. I was going to ask you about that sometime in the telecast, how you felt about the new rules. That ball's golfed into the right center field gap, but Brett gets over to make the play and gets the ball back in. We've got to fly out to the right fielder for the second out of the inning. Landon Brandt was kind of shading him that way. Uh, first about the bat, I thought that looked like a, a, a double down for sure, at least a single, and the ball just tailed right back to him. That might be an example. It did have some uh, some spin setting yeah. it that direction, to kind of a slice-like thing, but it's also the direction the wind would be pushing the ball, too. So Brandt was there in plenty of time, got two outs, and that would bring Luke Wessel to the plate, the designated hitter. That ball's grounded up the middle, making a play on the shortstop is Eccles, and couldn't quite get to it. Yeah, he lost it on the transfer there, Mark. He had it in plenty of time. It was going to be a close play anyhow. Maybe rushed it just a little bit to get it out of his glove and, and fumbled the exchange. They put error on the scoreboard, so we will go with the official score here. That brings Damon McCrack into the plate, the first baseman, 286 on the season. One of a long line of McCrackens in the work. <laughs> Pitch strike on the outside part of the court plate. Breaking ball. That also is a strike. Quickly ahead. 0-2. It's the nicest one he's thrown so far here to the first four hitters. Good downward break on that pitch. 0-2. Runners on first and second. And got him swinging. Two strikeouts in the opening inning. They also leave two on. We'll go to the bottom of the first. You're watching High School Baseball, WOSN. We're back at Wapakoneta High School. Taylor Eccles will be the leadoff hitter, hitting 258 this season. And then Grant Jolly at 394 in the three spot. Landon Brandt hitting 286. Caden Moore will hit fourth at 367 on the season. Fifth hitter is Austin West. Austin is hitting 250. And Ryan Price at 281, Grant Childress at 400, Ryan Camper at 333, and rounding out the batting order will be Zach Niekamp at 167 on the season. On the mound, that will be T.J. Stoller, three and one on the season. He's pitched 18 and two thirds innings, 10 hits, 26 strikeouts, three walks. He's hit four, and that's not always bad, is it? No, it's Keep not. Keep those guys no, from digging in. Keep people loose here. We can dig in here, but it's not going to show after the game with this turf. <laughs> And uh, let's go to about the defensive alignment for the Edward Cougars. Travis Francis is the catcher. Third base, Briston Wise. Caden Schaefer plays short. Sam Haug plays at second base. Damon Kraken is the first baseman. And then left, center, and right will be Break Boulier, Brylon Parker, and Connor Lockery. There's Taylor Eccles to lead in. You know, Mark, this is an interesting game tonight. Both these teams started out the, rear, the year really hot. And uh, we'll let Eccles throw the pitch here. Ball's fouled back. You know, Van Wert starts the year out at six and one. Wapak starts at an eight and one clip, but both have had kind of hard times here in the last few days as the season weighs upon us. Oh, one's the count. Stoller's back on the mound. That ball's hit up in the air to right field, and Center. Is that the center field? Yep, center field right. They ran in front of each other. Yeah, I couldn't see who made the play. All right. Bylon Barker with the catch yeah. there in center field, ranging to his left with the ball slicing away from him. That brings Grant Jolly to the plate. Hits 394, seven RBIs on the season for him. So one of these teams looking to get off the schneid today. Walpock losing their last two, Van Wert losers in their last three. Pitch is wide. Uh, Coach, we talked a little bit about you and I before the game, this uh, all turf field. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, any, any differences in how we play the game today? I, th I think so. I mean, it's, it's going to change. You know, if you're not used to sliding on turf, I think there's some uh, 
you know, you have to start your slide sooner when you go into a base or, uh, to avoid over. Close. Slice Smoked down the right, right field line. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Rowley turns two, headed for three. And relays back into the infield. And we get a triple by Jolly. First base hit of the ball game puts a Wapakana Redskin in scoring position. As we get to see Grant Jolly demonstrate a head first slide at third base. But I don't know if you notice how early he started his slide. I mean, obviously he's used to playing here. Um, ended up in a good position to get up and advance to the next base. But if you're not used to playing on the turf, it, it takes a little bit of time to, to, you know, monitor the speed of the game. Brandt steps in, 286 with that elbow injury he's had. We mentioned he hasn't uh, pitched much this year. He's just four for 14 at the plate. Mm -hmm. uh, most people are in the, in the 40s as far as number of bats on the season. He's got just 14 appearances. Right, right. Hasn't played defense hardly at all. Pitch is high. It's 2-0 on the count. Cade Moore is on deck. Got a strike on the outside corner. I was going through the stat page today, and I looked, and I see Landon Brandt, and, you know, here we are in the middle of April with one RBI. Oh, absolutely, and absolutely. A, a, a young man of his skill set. Yeah, you know, first team all WBL last year, and obviously a, a, a high-profile athlete here at Shawnee High School and trying to get back in the swing of things this spring. They hope to get him back on the mound sometime in May. It's this mm -hmm. uh, elbow situation taken care of. That's a strike. What a huge lift that would be for this squad, who is already a really nice baseball team. Um, Grant Jolly's done a good job picking up the slack. Take Taylor Eccles has shown that he can be a number one. You know, we had a marvelous game against Defiance a few games ago, so they're they're deep. That's foul back. That was a game you had a chance to do last week. That eight inning game was about as good a high school baseball game as you can get. Oh my gosh! If you like pitching and defense, that was that was the game. And you know, we I think. Garrett and I were talking. We're in the fifth inning, and we've been on the air for like 47 minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but then the but then the excitement started in the seventh and eighth. Two twos the count, one out. Stoller steps back. Breaking ball high goes to full count. Puts the infield pretty much at normal depth for this. They're going to concede a run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think unless the ball's hit to third or to the pitcher, it looks like they're making the play at first. That pitch is wide. We're going to get a walk. First walk of the game for Stoller. Yeah, one thing to watch here for looking at Wapak's stats and watching them play before, Landon Brent might not have been playing a lot of defense or offense, but when he's been on base, he's shown the propensity to run. So we're in a first and third situation with a big kid at first. I would watch for some action here to try to stay out of the double play. Here's Caden Moore at 367, six RBI on the season for him. Take a look at Brandt, get a little bit of a lead. Stoller steps back. Getting a little frisky down there, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncing around down there with a good lead. And takes off, pitches in the, and head first slide, he got in. It didn't take long, did it? No, it did not, good call. So we get a stolen base for Brandt, and that will put runners on second and third. The pitch was called a ball. Let's see how Coach Witten plays this here. Looks like he's gonna keep his middle back and corners in. That pitch is inside. 2-0. Wapak immediately putting pressure on in the first inning of this game. What a situation to be in with only one out. Ball's grounded up to the shortstop. Play by, by Schaefer. And that will be an RBI ground out. Grant Jolly after the triple will score. Lane and Brandon unable to advance as the ball was to his right. But still in scoring position should a base hit make it to the outfield here. Austin West will step in. And he hits one up in the air to left field. And collision and the ball oh, fell the ball loose. Kicked out of the yes, shortstop's glove. Be interesting to see if they rule that a hit. 
I'm, I'm looking at the board. That was one of those unfortunate things. Mm -hmm. Coming in was Blake Booyer. Going out was Caden Schaefer. And they put error on the scoreboard. That's a, that's a tough that's a real on a tough collision. Yeah. Right. The key to the whole thing is uh, two factors. One is the potential injury. The second is Brant scored. Yeah. Right, so right. The second run. I really thought that that situation, you know, the left fielder has priority over that because he's coming in on the ball, but the shortstop, um, Schaefer actually caught the ball and then the, and then the collision knocked it loose into the, into the outfield. The trainer out to see how everything is. So if we've got an error, we have no RBI no, on that play. Correct. No RBI. But two but, in nonetheless. And the, the wind would have been pushing that ball in away from the, the left field of right. Booyer. Right. It looked like either guy could have made, the, have made, made the play. I'd rather have two guys trying to make it <laughs> no. than no guys willing to make it. So West will end up at second base, and the second run is in. That will be an unearned run. Left fielder Ryan Price. And Ryan Price will step in, 281 on the season, and 10 RBIs for him on the year. Big Ryan Price, left fielder. Ball's fouled away. Ryan just looks like a baseball player, doesn't he, Mark? He really does, doesn't About he? About six foot two, well built. Yep. Meeting at the mound with Francis and Stoller. Mentioned being, being on a little bit of a losing skid for both teams. Get on the board early. That's important. Yeah, I think so. That's that's big today. Something to capitalize on with the energy from the from a good offensive inning. Breaking ball, snapped it off and got across the plate. You know the difference between this inning and the last inning is is Walpox putting the ball in play and and. Uh, you know, if you're not striking out and putting the ball in play, you got a chance. 0 and 2, pitches inside, pick 1 and 2. Grant Childress is on deck. That's the DH. He's got just five plate appearances on the season. It's 2 for 5. Ball's grounded foul. Yeah, Wapak in that, uh, what, seven hole. Has, has a couple guys with not a lot of, not a lot of varsity rips this year. Is that uh, an E on coach down there? He kind well, of fumbled you know what? Ball. I hate to give Coach Brandon air, but um, definitely needs some definitely needs some reps. <laughs> Pitch is low, and I guess we should call it the dirt. Still, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I do want to say, you know, before we get too far into this, Coach Brand, Coach Witten were very uh, accommodated to get stats and starting yeah. lineups and out to us early today. That was a. Uh, uh, we know how busy coaches are. Mm -hmm. and, uh, for them to take time to do that. We really appreciate both yep. coaches today. Curveball tied him up and struck him out on the inside part of the plate. But the Redskins will pick up two in the open inning. We'll go to the top of the second. You're watching High School Baseball, WSN. We're back at Wapak Canada High School. Our scoreboard today is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak and Delphas. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. We go to the top of the second inning. Two on the board for the Redskins. That will mean Connor Lockery will open up the inning. Brant Briston Wise and Blake Booyer to hit off of Grant Jolly. It's just low. You did say that Lee's is bringing some of that famous chicken here about the fifth yeah, inning, right? Oh, man, that would be a good deal, wouldn't it? Speak of Jeff Brantley and his fried chicken oh, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that ball's grounded to the second baseman. Play picked up by Camper. He throws it over, opening out. Pitch efficiency, two pitches, one out. That's how you draw it up. And after you just put two on the board, you'd like to see that opening Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Get the sticks back up there again. Wise will step in, left-handed hitting third baseman. 217 on the season for him. Breaking ball. First pitch strike. You know, even though Wapak's kind of in a had, a, had a couple games here that maybe they feel got away from them, they still have some quality arms on the mound and, and thinking your number one coming into the season hasn't even thrown yet. Ball started off the plate, snapped it over the back outside part of the plate, little back door breaking ball. I'm surprised to see some heat here. 
That one's wide. One and two. Couple breaking balls early. Golly. That pitch is breaking ball that stayed high. Yeah, you talked about that. Traded you know, some, some emails and text messages. My good friend Mark Miller did a lot of games mm -hmm. with him. He said, who's good in your area? Mm -hmm. well, Wapak, Defiance, mm -hmm. Van Wert. He said, I've heard those names before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got him with a swinging strike. Third strikeout of the game for Grant Jolly. Now batting for the Left field number 17, Dwight Boyer. Boyer here to hit. 143 on the season. Let's have four RBIs as a left fielder. Involved in that little collision a moment ago. Mm -hmm. the season the game. Looks like everybody's okay. Yep. Fastball, swinging strike. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Van Wert handles the, you know, the last half or so of their schedule, you know, starting out at six and one, but, you know, maybe playing some of the, of the softer end of their WBL schedule. Beth, the Wildcats currently lead the league at 3-0. They are at Elida this evening. Blaine Albright pitching for them tonight, and he has had a sensational year this so far. When he's, on, when he's on, they have a chance, you they know? They really do. They really do. One and two is the count. Going to Indiana University is Blaine. It's nice to know that each day you go out there, you've got a chance to win when that guy's on the mound. Pitch is low, two and two. Reading our stat pages that come across the WSN uh, stat pages, I think his low strikeout on the season is 15. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. It's not mm -hmm. bad. Speaking of swinging strikes, there's another one. It's a little boring if you're a defender, but it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> two strikeouts again in that inning. Four in the game for Grant Jolly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's 2-0 Wapak. You're watching high school baseball on WSN. We're back to Wapakoneta. They will go to hitters at seven, eight, and nine in the second. That will be Grant Childers, Ryan Camper, and Zach Niekamp. Grant Childers will step in, the designated hitter. He hits for Preston Hickel, the catcher. Still, we're back on the mound. Just with his first pitch. Grant, a senior, getting a little PT here. And a good hitters count, Mark 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Ball's dribbled foul. One, uh, two and one is a count. Grant's probably thinking, man, I wish I had that pitch back. <laughs> 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 Just a little bit ahead of it. Just two for five on the season. And a chance to DH today. Pitch down low. That's a really nice spot by TJ. Yeah. Low and outside, hard pitch to reach if you if you got any pull at all. 2-2. Two, two. Ball's in the dirt, swinging strike. Francis will step out, throw down to McCracken to record the out. Second strike out of the game. For Price and two in a row, or not Price, he's for Stoller, two mm -hmm. in a row for him. That brings Ryan Camper to the plate. 3.33 on the season. Ryan very instrumental in that big win over to Fiennes a week ago. Takes it first pitch strike. You know, when you got your sliding glove in your back pocket, right. it's yeah, halfway yeah. up the small of your back. Yep. It's optimistic, too. Yeah, you, well, <laughs> those things look like oven mitts to me. They do. I, They're I'm huge. Not, uh, between They're that huge. and the major league with the bigger bases and exactly. the pitch clock and everything else, I think I'd be running all the time. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. I was to. down and watched the I, I watched the Reds serve up batting practice uh, <laughs> Sunday, and uh, you know when they gave up nine runs in the first inning, and I heard a guy in the crowd talking about if you really want to speed the game up, don't let the bat boy run out there to every runner and get his you know get his protective <laughs> yeah. gear. You know, make them wear it. If you're gonna let them wear it at bat, they gotta wear it when they're on the base. That's three strikeouts in a row now. Stoller's got it going. Stoller hitting his stride yes, here at he the is. bottom of the lineup. That was swinging strikeout, as were the others. Here's Zach Niekamp in at 167, the center fielder. So you sat through the big rain delay and then the nine-run first inning? Oh, my gosh. Lucky, Did I ever. Lucky you. Did I ever. And you know what? The temperature Niekamp. dropped about 25 degrees, and I stayed till the bitter end, oh. getting, getting my uh, poor money's worth there. You're a baseball guy. I know it. I know it. 
And then they had 7,700 there last night. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ball's grounded to the third baseman. Pickup made by Wise. And throw across the diamond to McCracken. The inning's over. Good inning for Stoller to come back at the bottom of the order that way. We're going to go to the top of the third. You're watching High School Baseball, WSN. We're back at Wapakoneta High School to a lead for the Wapakoneta Redskins as Van Wert comes calling in the third. Our underwriting specialists today are Charles River and the Northwest College. We appreciate them for being our underwriter sponsors today. Bottom of the order will step in. That will be Sam Howe. I'm a 9 2 this inning. And then Parker and Schaefer. Well, you like to see that pitcher come out and throw first pitch yeah, strike. Yeah, you do. Especially you got your number nine guy up. This is a guy you want to get. Yep, Grant's done a good job just pounding the zone today. Ball's golf down to the third baseman. Pickup made by Moore. And just throw across the diamond to West, opening out. I'm sure you saw it, Mark, but you saw the turf adjustment there by I the did. third baseman. That's a young man who's played on this That's stuff. a young man that, that uh, corrected himself right in the middle of the hop and knew where it was going to be. On a traditional okay. dirt field, that's a potential lip ball. Uh -huh. Correct. Meaning it's going to catch the turf and the grass? Yes, right where that which is usually together. the roughest part of most fields. Opening pitch strike to the leadoff hitter, Parker. Struck out in the opening inning. One and one's a count. That one's foul. Make it one and two. Grant Jolly back on the hill and brings it. That one's fouled away as well. Spoiled a pretty good pitch. And just keeps throwing strikes. If you remember, Parker had a couple well-struck foul balls his first at bat. These swings have been a bit tardy. Mm -hmm. Looking ball stayed high, makes it two and two. That's a tough take right there because you don't know how much it's going to 12 to six on you. And you can see Parker right away look back <laughs> at Mr. Overs to see what he was going to decide. Ball's ground this time, heads to the shortstop, picked up by Eccles, and his throws in the dirt. You know, if you watch, if you watch uh, Taylor make that play, once he fielded the ball, he kind of double tapped his glove, and I think ideally you just want a kid to pick the ball up and throw it, and then then he had to gun it a little bit and threw it into the turf. So Parker's on base. That's the second error in the baseball game for the Redskins. Parker's got seven stolen bases on the year. He's got a pretty good lead. First pitch strike to Caden Schaefer. Schaefer walked in his initial appearance today. And Short obviously stop. you don't want to give, you know, you don't want to let anybody get on, but, but with a routine ball to the shortstop to the leadoff man. There he goes. Here's the throw and head for a slide. That ball got into center field. And on the throwing air, here comes the throw to third. He makes it safely. So, stolen base mm -hmm. error. And we got a runner on third base. This will be a huge opportunity to get a run in by Schaefer. Cut this well. lead in half here. That would make a huge difference going into the you middle part of the game. A couple misplayed balls, and now mm -hmm. you got a guy at third. Hinkle's throw was in the dirt out there. He just couldn't snag it. You know, this is a big spot for the young catcher. Not just to control the running game, but to, to, to block pitches that might be uh, on the ground here. One and two is the count. Got him swinging. Fifth strikeout. Big that's out. a big out by yep. Grant. Yep, that's a big out. Here's Stoller to step in. He flied out to the uh, right fielder in his uh, first appearance today, hitting 417. He has 13 RBIs on the season. He would love to pick up one here mm -hmm. and help himself. Far and away, the RBI leader on this squad. Breaking ball stays up and in. 
I think they have a couple kids with seven RBIs. McCracken has seven. Uh, Connor has seven. TJ's about got them doubled up. Pitches inside. Two O's to count. TJ, if you remember, hit that slicing right line drive to right center his first at bat that he didn't really get fooled on. It just kind of got blown over to uh, Brant in right field. Two and one. Wasn't like it was a towering fly ball. You're right. Coach Witten's checking to count. The scoreboard says 2-1. The umpire said 1-2. and two. I think it is. It is 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah, it's 2-1. And they did correct it. Coach Witten yeah. made sure that was correct. Scoreboard was right, and so was our book. <laughs> it happened very often. No. So it's 2-1. and one. Stoller steps back in. Jolly out of the windup. Foul back. Coach Witten, with that math teacher experience, he's not going to mess up the numbers. <laughs> it's a big pitch here, Mark. 2-2. Two, two. You don't really want to go 3-2 on the hitter. So you want to challenge him with the pitch that you feel like you're throwing the best today. There's the hitter. Wessels on deck. That one's fouled as well. Came in with a fastball on the inside. Help me out here, Coach. There's a parking lot just off to the, the first base dugout mm -hmm. side. You mm -hmm. want, as a pitcher, you want the ball that foul back and hits that parking lot. Gets a little bit of scuff on it. Mm. It gives you a little yeah. bit more. Uh, well, you're not getting scuff off the dirt on the infield, <laughs> so you might as well hit the sidewalk or the parking lot. That's a strike. They got him looking. That's a strike. Nice pitch. Excellent pitch on the outside part of the plate. Two strikeouts in the inning. Leave a runner stranded. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Wapak stood up 2-0. You're watching high school baseball at WSN. We're back at Wapak High School. Our scoreboard today is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mark Shine, Coach Chad Spencer here today. Called back to the leadoff hitter. That would be Taylor on, Eccles wide out in the opening inning. T.J. Stover back on the mound for his third inning of work. Giving up one earned run, one unearned run, both in the opening inning. Breaking ball. Snapped that off and got to the inside mm -hmm. part of the place. Just, just nipped the inside corner. Now he's got the whole outside open if he wants to go there and locate. Pitch stayed high. One and two. Breaking ball. Tried the same pitch. Mm -hmm. That one stayed inside, though. You didn't see Taylor bailing on it either, did you? <laughs> he was going to take one for the team. Balls fouled. There's one of those scuff balls in the parking there lot to the right yeah. side. You want to, as, a, as a pitcher, you want that one back in mm -hmm. a hurry. You know, a lot of umpires, though, Mark, on, the, on a curveball on the inside, they'll give that to you as a hit batter if it's a curveball, but if it's a fastball and you make no effort to get out of the way, a lot of times they'll bring you back and have you see another pitch. Trying to break the rhythm a little bit. Eccles steps out. I don't see the pitch clock, so I think we're okay. <laughs> that ball's hit down the right it's field line, drift foul. and it will go foul. Good at bat by Taylor here. Making make TJ work. A lot of room in that right corner, right and left field corner where the bullpens are here at Wapakoneta. They've taken the fence out and made this alcove for the bullpens to be in, so there's a lot of room. Um, but I would imagine that there's a dead ball area there along the line of the dirt. Breaking ball high. That's at a full count. Having a good at bat. Mm -hmm. Even the mail, man, walk, Something the home coach and uh, umpires go over with the visiting coach before each game. Sure. 
Ball's fouled away again. Back to the screen. Taylor just fighting off pitches till he gets something he can drive. 258 average on the season, but he scored nine runs for the Redskins this year. His leadoff position plays shortstop. And got a walk. Really good at bat. Really was for him. Second walk of the game for Stoller. Lead off hitter on. That brings up Grant Jolly, who tripled and scored a run in his initial appearance today. Can we call Grant the catalyst? Catalyst. Maybe. At least in that first inning he was. I don't know. I, we're both social studies guys. That's a pretty good word for a social studies yeah, guy. Well, you catalyst. know, once in a while I, I look one up each week and try to have a word of the day. <laughs> I don't know what it means. It yeah, just sounded good. Sounded good. Right. Yeah. Strike on the inside part of the plate. Is that that thing on the car that are stealing all the I time? I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. The catalyst yeah, converter. The catalyst converter. Yeah, exactly. Like that. Oh, one's a cow. Eccles leads at first. And Stoller back to the plate. That's going to be grounded to the third baseman. That's fair. Here's the play by Wise and got him. Nice play. Nice play by Brisson. He checked the runner at second, saw he had no play, and knew he had plenty of time to get it over to first base. That does allow Eccles to move up to, to second base. And yeah. brings Landon Brandt to the plate. Still a really productive at bat for Jolly as he moves the runner into scoring position with your three hitter up. The left handed hit Landon Brandt will step in. Walked in the opening, scored a run. Swinging strike to him. You know, Mark, we keep talking about cars. They're going to find converters for us. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lane. Stay, <laughs> Stay in your lane. Oh, and one's the count. One out. That one's hit to the first baseman. Staying low, making the pickup is McCracken. And got the first base in time to get the out. One on a three unassisted. Yeah, we talked about Landon Brandt leading the team in steals for a big guy. He got down the line pretty good and made that a fairly close play. That he did, and that will bring Caden Moore to the plate. And ran it hard. You love to see kids run hard. Yeah. Caden ground out the shortstop last time for the RBI. Two outs with a runner on third. is Opening pitch strike, and Eccles has moved up to third on a couple of ground outs. That ball's lined. That's going to be an RBI it. hit. Caden Moore with an RBI as he lines one in the left field. Eccles scores the third run for the Redskins. You know, low scoring game. You just can't underestimate that add on run here. Well, they've done what they want to do, right? You get the leadoff hitter on Absolutely. and you get a two out hit. Yep. What's, what's the old drill? Get them on, get them over, get them in. Ball pops out of the glove. There's a play at second, and there's the head for a slide and in safely. The pass ball. It's going to be a PB. Yep. Moore moves into scoring position with Austin West at the plate. He was on by an error when they had the little collision in left field back in the opening inning. The ball's grounded. Pickup made by Stoller. He's going to loft it over to first base, and they get out of the inning, giving up just a single run. But the Redskins do pick up run number three in the game, and we'll go to the top of the four if you're watching High School Baseball at WSA. We go to the top of the fourth inning. It's Time for the Spring Life Campaign with WSN and TV44. Our annual spring funding campaign is underway now. Please partner with us by giving a financial donation in any amount. Our campaign goal is $50,000 by Mother's Day, and you can donate online at WTLW.com backslash donate. Leadoff hitter will get a strike from Grant Jolly. Leadoff hitter will be Luke Wessel. Wessel, a first-team WBL selection last year as a junior. Designated hitter today. Ball's smack fouls. He hits for the catcher, Travis Francis. 
you know, Mark Grant showing Grant showing what's making him successful today, jumping out 0-2 um, this whole game. And I, I don't want to jinx him. We're in the fourth inning, and he's only had a three-ball count on one hitter. Pitches inside. It's one and two. Not only is that pitch efficiency, but it keeps your defense engaged. Here's Jolly again. That ball's hit up the middle. And a play by the second baseman. Tracking that one down was Ryan Camper. Nice play on the line drive. Mm -hmm. Well done. Ryan acted like he'd done that before. That he did. Damon McCracken will step in. You know, Coach, that, that always surprises me. We needed a pitch clock in the big leagues. Mm -hmm. uh, get the ball, throw it, keep your right. defense on our toes. Right. Uh, the, the pitchers need a pitch count. Well, or pitch clock, I should say. Right, right. Um, surprised me, I guess. Well, I, I guess I see the purpose of the rule. Um, Pitches the, inside. The, the professional game has become so microscopic to where every pitch is worth so much money in people's careers. Mm -hmm. So I think we're overanalyzing everything with the, you know, statistical analytics and whatnot. But I don't like the rule, but I like the intent behind the rule because to me, you're, you're right. You know, you got to keep your defense engaged and some kind of rhythm to the game. Two and one to Damon McCracken. Damon struck out in the opening inning. One of the five strikeouts today, recorded by Grant Jolly, as we're in the fourth inning. Ball's dribbled to the third baseman. Going to be a tough play. Caden Moore, and he got him. Nice play by Caden, sitting back and reading the hop, knowing how much time he has. And you know, all these professional guys that you have to put a clock on, they play high school ball, they play yeah. college ball, they know the rhythm of the game. But you add that, I really think you add that financial component to a career in you know, even hitters, you know, stepping yep. out every every single pitch, so kind of ruin the rhythm of the game. Lockery steps in. First pitch strike. I always found as a player uh, that it, it just helps to be in that rhythm, you know, and yep. not artificially slow down the contest. Swinging strike two. In football, if you've got a team on their heels and running the ball, yeah. you're not taking the full time between, but you just want to keep <laughs> running keep, the ball keep going, them, right? Yeah. 0-2, oh, and, and hit him. There's that curveball with, yep. no, with no there movement that. to get out of the way. <laughs> there you go. So hit by pitch, that's the first time that has occurred today for Grant Jolly. It wasn't that bad of a it wasn't, pitch. No. I mean, he's thrown that pitch there multiple times today, and Connor might have been up on the plate a little bit legally, you, but you still. You need base runners, too, oh, so they'll, they'll take that. Absolutely. There's well, Wise to step in. I want your guys to stand in there. Wise takes a strike. We haven't seen a chance to see Grant throw from the stretch a whole lot today. He had a walk to Caden Schaefer back in the uh, opening. And that ball's hit up the middle. And it's going to be a nice play by the shortstop. We get a fielder's choice and leave the runner on base. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. It's 3-0. Wapakoneta, you're watching High School Baseball on WSN. Bottom of the fourth inning from Wapakoneta High School. Our scoreboard today is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima. Wapak and Delphus call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Mark Schein, Chad Spencer here. Ryan Price will step in. Struck out back in the opening inning. Takes a first pitch strike from T.J. Stoller. Kind of fooled him with that pitch, yeah. swinging the ball you know, that was in the dirt, 2-0-2. Two oh two. T.J. might remember Ryan's first at bat. He got him to wave at a curveball in the outside part of the plate. Ball's popped up down the right field line. Plenty of room here. And... Tracking it down out there was David McCracken. Wind bothered him a little bit, I think. You know what? I, I think uh, he earned his money on that one. Track that foul ball down. Grant Childers will strap in. But Childers he played does it. it hitter. He did. I'm sorry. He played it well, and, you know, he got behind the ball and didn't drift with it. Makes all the difference when you have both feet under you. sliced into right field. And battling the wind out there right. was, was Connor Lockery, but he made the play. Maybe a little more adventurous than anybody hoped on the Van Wert side, but the result's the same in F9. 
two quick outs as Ryan Camper will step in. The batter, second baseman, number 15, Ryan Camper. Stoller trying to get a one, two, three inning. Pitch is low and away. Everybody was expecting to hear a strike after that one. <laughs> Ball will be foul. That one's fouled away as well, one and two. Parking lot ball here. Yep. Van Wert uh, has a home game where they go to Crestview on a Wednesday. Then the league game with St. Mary's at home on Friday. Delphi St. John's at home on Saturday. Big week, huh? A big week for them. Foul ball back. Wapakoneta, they will be at Lima Central Catholic on Thursday. And have the Shawnee Indians here on Friday in the Western Buckeye League game. Weather permitting from what I see in the forecast. Well, I guess that's uh, what you have to say in Ohio, right? Spring Breaking baseball. ball got him. Just yep. froze him with a curveball. Third or fourth strike out of the game will end inning number four. We'll go to the top of the fifth. Wapak three, Van Wert nothing. You're watching High School Baseball, WSN. WSN and TV44 operate thanks to donations and sponsorship. Would you commit to a donation in any amount? It's a great way to show your support for this game and your support for local high school sports. Donate online at WTOW.com backslash donate, or you can call 419-339-4444. Van Wert comes calling here in the fifth inning. They will send up, let me see, I guess Blake Booyer, Sam uh -huh. Haug, and back to the top of the order, Brylon Parker. It's Grant Jolly who's got a shutout going through four. Blake, one of Grant's six strikeouts thus far through four innings. Missed on the first pitch. That ball is going to be grounded to the shortstop. Backhanded play by Eccles, and his throw is in the dirt. And that's going to allow Booyer to move up to second base. And that will be an error on the shortstop's throw. That will bring up Haug to the plate. Double jeopardy to get that guy into scoring position as well. Bottom of the order. Rounded out to the third baseman back in inning number three. Van Wertz had three kids in scoring position today, two of them advancing thus far on airs. Not able to plate any of them yet against the offerings of Grant Jolly. That ball's lined to the shortstop. He knocks it down. That's going to be a hit. And let's see, Coach Witten's going to hold the runner. First pitch swinging by Sam. Well struck baseball. And that is first hit of the game, correct? Mm -hmm. Got first and third here. So the bottom of the order comes through with a couple of guys on. Booyer moves up to third base and brings up Parker. We don't like to talk about no hits, but that was the first hit of the game first for the Cougars. Hit. Got through four innings. Charlie's given up 13 hits in now 24 plus innings on the season. That was the 14th hit of the season in 24 innings this season. You know, Mark, you got to think that if Van Wert's going to get back in this game, putting the first two guys on in the eight and nine hole, you got to take advantage of that with the top of the lineup here in the fifth. You may not have this situation again with two innings after this. The ball's lined to the shortstop. Our second baseman play. got an opportunity anyway, and they got a pair of them. A little 4 6 3 action. Shortstop number 14, Keaton Schaefer. The runner will score, no RBI on the double play. The pitcher's best friend. I think Walpock will take giving up one run for two outs in that situation. Cougars on the board now, makes it 3-1. Breaking ball stays up and in. Good job, Ken. Good job. Good job. Go Pitch is low. We talk about, uh, you know, just a single hit so far. Mm -hmm. Grant Jolly's given up. T.J. Stoller's only given up two today. Yeah, he's throwing a really nice he's game. He's pitched well as well. Really nice game. 
Pitches inside. Makes it 3 0. And you know, Grant's consistently in that low to mid 80s range on the fastball, about 83 on the on the board here at Wapak. A strike on the inside part. Schaefer has the only walk so far in the game, given up by Grant Jolly. He did hit a batter. Tell you what, Jolly's not messing around. You, you wouldn't even have time to reset frozen, the pitch clock. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, can't hit the can't hit the start button fast enough. Three two now to Schaefer. See if he comes back and gets him. And that pitch stayed inside. Just walked for the second time. So Schaefer on a full count brings up Stoller. You no, know, just looking at my notes here in today's game. Of all the hitters that Grant's faced in this game through the fifth, there's only two batters he's went three balls on, and that guy's staying at first base both, both times. Both under Schaefer, yep. Not just four balls, but three balls. Dives back in, had a pretty good lead. Stoller's flied out and struck out on a called third strike today. It's 417 on the season in the three hole for Coach Whitten. Luke Wessels on deck. Pretty good lead at first base. Mm -hmm. Ball's going to be nubbed up the it's middle. Gonna be a tough it's going to be a real, tough, a real play. tough play. And that ball slides under the glove. I'm, I'm going to see that'll how that score infield, goes. What do you think? Hit. Yeah, that's oh, they, a squibber. They put air on the scoreboard, nah. Coach. Um, can we can we go with a hit on that? I'm, I'm right. I already have a mark <laughs> yeah, good for you. in my book. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. That was going to be a. I don't think we had a play anywhere. <laughs> We're going to give Stoller a, a hit on that, on that uh, little number up the, to the shortstop side of the, the play. This is Wessel in now with two runners on. Breaking ball at the top of the zone for a strike. Cleared to the top of the zone. On with an error and also has lined out to the second baseman today. Left-handed hitting Luke Wessel. The hit the ball hitter. well last time, right yeah. at Camper. Up the, well, not right at him, but to his right side and made a nice play. 0-2 oh, on the pitch that dove out of the strike zone. Mm -hmm. Luke looking to pull something there, and that was not a pullable pitch. Going, going. Ball's grounded in the shortstop, and in fielder's choice, he flips it over to Camper at second base. They get out of the inning, but the Cougars are on the board. As we go to the bottom of the fifth, it'll be 3-1 Van or 3-1 Wapak. You're watching high school baseball on WSN. We're back at Wapakoneta High School, 3-1 home team. What a special thank you today to our underwriting sponsors. That would be Charles River and Northwest College, and we appreciate their support today. Mark Schein, Coach Chad Spencer here. Big inning, I think, now for uh, T.J. Stoller. His team got on the board. Mm -hmm. Looking at 9-1-2, see if you can keep it close. He's given up just two hits today as Zach Niekamp steps in. Zach's second appearance today as he grounded out uh, to third baseman back in inning number two. Two hits, but they both factored into the runs. Ball's going to be sliced down the right double. field line. And oh, it went foul. Well, yeah. the wind blew yeah. it foul. I was with you when he was hit. It looked like it, didn't it? Yes, it did. Quite a bit foul, actually. A pretty good slice to it, and the wind is pushing it that way. I don't think it's as breezy as it was when no. we opened the game today, but to still help that one go foul. 1-1 one, one will be the count. Mr. Drew Braun, the base umpire, was all over that call. That ball's lying the other way. I thought that was going to hit him for a minute. That ball was way inside. It was way inside, yeah. <laughs> Zach liked that. Zach Niekamp. 167 hitter on the season is the center fielder. That one's going to be grounded. Back up to make the play is the shortstop Schaefer, and his arm got it across the field, got yeah, him out. He showed a nice arm on that ball, didn't he? Thought he was in trouble when he had to back mm -hmm. up to make the play, but a good strong arm got the ball across the field. And that will bring up Taylor Eccles, the leadoff hitter. He's walked today and flied out, scored a run when he walked back in inning number three. E.J. Stoller has given up just two hits today. And that hit him? Yes, it, it did, did, right in the back. So 
You know, we were talking about how off air we were talking about the, the good control of both these pitchers today. But of Wapak's three runs, two of the runners that scored were, were via recipient of the walk. Grant Jolly will step in a triple and a run scored today for him. He's one for two. Talked about Stoller wanting to shut him down here in this inning, but if uh, Wapak's thinking, let's get that run back, too. Yeah, don't be surprised to see Eccles take off here in the first two pitches. Pitch was high to Jolly. Both teams look like they have the ability to get the running game going today if the situation's right. Eccles has a couple of stolen bases on the season. The ball's going to be grounded to the second baseman and takes a bad hop. And did he get him? Stayed with it and made the play, did Hogue. 4-3 out, second out of the inning. Well, he kicked it a little bit there yeah. when he went to field it and uh, give him credit. You at least he, get he, one he out out of that stayed situation. Stayed with it, didn't he? Right. Yeah. Eccles did move up to second, brings up Brandt. Brandt has hit the ball to the third baseman and walked or to the first baseman and walked today. Landon always looking for a pitch that he can yank. Is that what you call when you bunt? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know what? I saw him do that against Defiance uh, here. Um, and I'm not really sure in this situation why. With your three hitter and a runner in scoring position, but obviously looking to lay something down the third base line. Well, he's got good wheels. If he lays he that does. thing down, he's yeah, going to make he it and put a couple guys on. So Well, and you have the situation with the guy at second that if you bunt it to third, third base yeah. has to choose if he's going to stay there or not. Long look. Pitches outside. Coach, that brings up a, a point. We've talked about the field here a little bit today. Uh -huh. Is it difficult to bunt on this? No, make a I difference? Think, I, I think you just have to make sure you don't bunt it too hard. Um, if anything, I think it makes it a little more directionally easy. Okay. Because you're not getting it off the lip of a baseline or, you know, off the edge of the grass. Well, they had him picked off. Yeah, they got him picked. And there's the throw, and they got him. Picked him off of second base. Eccles goes down one to five. That will end the inning. Watch high school baseball at WOSN. We're back at Wapakoneta High School, where our scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphi. It's called Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. We're going to the top of the six. It's 3-1 for home team. And back on the mound will be Grant Jolly with Damon McCracken stepping in. First pitch misses. McCracken is struck out today. And... Grounded, also, out, grounded to third. out to third. Yeah. Trying to read my notes I scratched in here. Ball's hit Ball right foul. off the foot. Oh, yeah, right off his foot. Very quickly, it's a 1 1 count. Grant Jolly back on the mound. This is inning number six for him. He's given up a couple of hits today, and just the one run. The run was unearned. You know, as efficient as Grant's been, if things hold, he's got to got to think this is his game. Certainly not worried about getting near that 125 no. limit. He's pitched, no. pitched well today. He's kept the game moving. Nice, quick tempo. Two and one to McCracken. Pitch to strike, makes it 2-2. Two -two. Grant showing the ability to go in and then out. Both halves of the plate. The pitch is down. It's, it's, you know, I'm glad you reminded me earlier. This young man is just a sophomore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's, his, his, uh, he's composure. learning how to play, right? Yeah, his composure is so good. Yeah, he, he's going to be really good. That ball is hit up in the air. This is going to be trouble in the wind. It should be the first bait. Well, I guess the second baseman's going to range over. Yeah, that he did. Yeah. Ryan Camper went a long way and tracked that one down. Get a pop up on the infield for the maybe, first out. Maybe Ryan told. Uh, maybe Ryan told Austin, "Hey, man, I want the put out." You know. 
clock ready to hit. Big first out here in the, yeah. in the sixth inning for Green. Grounded out twice today. No, you Excuse watch me, you, his... Uh, you grounded out once and was hit by a pitch once. Right, forced right. Forced at second base. You watch Grant, like you said, his composure on the mound, his mound presence, I guess I would call it. And uh, to think this is a 15, 16-year-old kid, you know. Line drive will be caught by the right fielder, Brandt. Got a lot of good innings in front of him. Good contact, but right at the right fielder for the second out of the inning. And Briston Wise will step in. You know, Mark, if my memory's correct, that might be the only the second ball we've seen hit to the outfield today by Van Wert, and both of them were to Lane and Brant in right field. Unless I'm unless I'm not remembering one. Offered it to Bunt that time. And missed it did Wise. Struck out, been on I was also involved with a fielder's choice back in inning number four when Hotford got forced out at second base. Wise trying to make something happen here, put a bunt down and see if he can't find a way to get to first base. He flinched it again. 0-2. Oh Takes a pitch for a strike. Six now, strikeouts on the day, but uh, not one since, what, back in inning yeah, number three? Yeah, it's been a while, inning three, yeah. Jolly had two in each of the first three frames. And there got him called. Been a while since he had a strikeout. Got him with a call, strike three. Seventh strikeout today for Grant Jolly. And we will go to the bottom of the sixth with Wapak and the Redskins three and Van Wert one. You're watching high school baseball on WSN. Bottom of the sixth inning, Wapak and the Redskins three, Van Wert one. In this Western Buckeye League game, Landon Brandt, who was at the plate when Taylor Eccles got picked off of second base back in inning number five, will be the leadoff hitter, followed by Cade Moore, Austin West. Brant today has walked and hit the ball to the first baseman. And takes a ball on the first pitch. The Redskins certainly hoping this is the last time they bat today. Still we're back on the mound for inning number six. Swinging strike. Lane Brant doesn't get cheated when he decides to swing, does he? He does not. Ball's hit down the left field line and foul makes it one and two. Inside, oh, that was a good pitch. Yeah, that's a tough. That take was right a tough there. one to take. That was a tough take. T.J. Stoller has pitched very well today. He's given up just a, a couple of hits. Yeah, if you get off the bus and say you're going to get this kind of performance, I think head coach Charlie Witt would take it. And he got him swinging. Strikeout number five, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, Caden Moore will step in. Caden's grounded out, single today. Got an RBI. My notes right, Caden has two of the RBIs today. He does. That's why you call it the cleanup position, correct? Give him eight on the season. Pitches inside. Ball's lined foul. We've seen a lot of balls down the right field line today, haven't we, Mark? A little bit of a late swing when you do that. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful spring day, though, all things considered. Pitch is high. Significantly <laughs> better than it was this morning, that's for sure. <laughs> I got home last night and saw snow at the, at the entrance to my garage. I'm like, you're kidding me. 2-2 two, two is the count. And I live in Ohio, by the way, yeah. so just clarifying yeah. that. Foul ball, 2-2. Two, two. I'm just happy my fruit trees haven't blossomed yet. Right. Because we might right. get a little frost tonight. Yeah. Two and two. T.J. Stoller. That ball is nubbed, and that's going to go foul. There's your umpire showing some pretty good wheels down there, too. No, I think he was just running for his life. He was scared. 
<laughs> but I don't blame him. Yeah. No, Drew is just trying to get out of the way because, you know, you don't know if uh, McCracken's got to play on that ball. But, yeah, I, I don't know if I've ever seen Mr. Mr. Braun move like he that. He moved I'm pretty well. He's got a ball he's trying to get away yeah, from. To, he's trying to get yeah. that big first baseman, too. So that's a pretty good effort out there. Two and two. At, shoot him in text and make sure he's okay. Ball's grounded into the second baseman. Pickup made by Hogue. And we got a couple of outs here in the inning as Austin West steps in. You know, T.J. Stoller certainly pitched well enough today to give his yes. team a chance to compete, and that's all you can ask for. Austin West, first baseman, hitting 250 on the season. Been on by an air and also grounded out to the pitcher today. That's a strike. That ball's tattooed out to left field and right at the left mm -hmm. fielder who makes the play, Booyer. It's kind of a three up, three down inning. We're going to go to the top of the seventh. Wapak three, Van Wert one. You're watching High School Baseball on WSN. Top of the seventh from Wapak Cadetta. And that will bring in the lead of the number, uh, what's number 17? Got number, eight, number eight, number eight in your bat. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had to find him on the batting order here. Blake Booyer will lead uh, with the leadoff hitter. Struck out and was on by an error. Scored the only run today as the eight and nine guys did some damage. Pitches inside from Grant Jolly. He was on, followed by a single by Haug. And they plated their only run back in inning at number five. Get to that in the count quickly here. Walpock's got the infield corners playing at normal depth. Two and one. Grant Jolly comes back. Now you're asking about the bunny game earlier on turf. I think that you see kids play a little more at normal depth in a potential bunning situation because you know you're going to get the true hop. It's a, it's a little harder sometimes for visiting teams to gauge how hard they have to bunt the ball to make it go down the line or to kill it. And got him looking. Called strike three, becomes strikeout number eight today for Jolly. Good way for him to start inning number seven of work. Here's how step in. One of the two hits today created by Van Wert batters. Pitch is high. One and one is the count. You know, for not having a lot of experience back there, I think Preston Hinkle has uh, handled himself quite well. Pitch stays, uh, breaks outside, I should say. He has, hasn't he? But all things considered, I think Grant, Grant's been fairly easy to catch today, too. He's been around the zone. There's not been a lot of runners on. Just sit back there and receive it, young man. 82 mile an hour pitch, makes the count two and two. Full count. It's the third full count we've seen today by Grant Jolly. And got him swinging this time. So back to back strikeouts to open up the seventh inning for Grant Jolly. Island Parker will be up uh, looking at an 0 for 3 day today for him. That's nine today for Grant Jolly in the strikeout column. Sure, he wouldn't mind having a uh, double-digit day. He would he like to there. finish that this way, wouldn't he? That pitch is inside. Tied him up a bit, but stayed inside. Pitch is low, 2-0. Oh, 
Foul ball. Two and one. Parker hits 375 on the season, does the center fielder. Seven stolen bases, 12, scored 12 runs this year so far. Called strike two. Levels it at two. And got him swinging as well. Fans aside. Does he ever? You talked about those double figure strikeouts. He comes through and does that. So the Wapakoneta Redskins will take a three to one victory today over the Van Wert Cougars. And boy, I tell you what, Coach, uh, TJ Stoller pitched a very nice ball game and he's gonna get a loss for this, but doesn't deserve so really. Six uh, innings pitched today. Uh, he gave up uh, three runs, two of them were earned. Struck out five, walked a couple, hit a batter, but he had a really good day as well. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, Grant Jolly was just a little bit better. Just a little bit better and uh, a few less guys on, a few less guys in, and, and a razor thin game. Well, Grant Jolly is now 4 0 in the season. He pitched all seven innings today. He struck out uh, 10, two walks, hit a batter. Uh, by our count, he gave up two hits right, uh, with right. the scoreboard headed for just one. We thought one of them could have gone the other way. He came in with an 0.70 ERA, and he lowered it today. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't hurt that at all, did he? He certainly <laughs> did not. Van Wert, they will drop to 6 and 5 on the season. They will be 1 and 3 in Western Buckeye League play. While Buckner Redskins stay in the league race, they will go to 10 and 3. They will be 4 and 1 in the Western Buckeye League today with this 3 to 1 win. I want to thank our scoreboard sponsor today. That would be Lee. Famous recipe chicken and our underwriting specialist today that has been Charles River and Northwestern College. Thank you, Chad Spencer. Great job yes, as sir. always. Thank always you. appreciate your commentary on our games. Our camera people today Mia Waddle, Jacob O'Neill, and Abby Beck back at the station. Cassie and Fiscal will edit this all together and air it for you tonight. Wapakoneta goes to 9 and 3, 3 and 1 on the season with a 3 to 1 win over the Van Wert Cougars. You've been watching high school baseball on WOSF.